Hello and welcome to episode 87 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to go through a really, really, well, to me, it's a game changer update that Todoist have given us this week. Now, before we get started, I need to show you where you can get the update from. This update was pushed out through the in-application uh, update so it's not going to come through the App Store this is going to come through this version down here now normally what you will see is you'll see a little red dot on the gear icon on the top right hand corner to tell you there is an update now to check that you have the latest update you should be running on version 845 now clicking on that uh, will take you to the internet or the interweb and this will tell you what new uh, what is new now for me the new one uh, came in version 842 which came out on the 29th of november um, view and share any project in calendar form so it is this one here that is the big game changer for me so view and share any project in calendar form now for those of you who've been following my series the biggest problem I've had with using Todoist with my calendar is that traditionally what we've had to do is go into our Todoist settings and we get the calendar feed from down here, um, which would then put all your tasks for today into your calendar view. Now, I don't want to see my routines in my calendar view because they're just routines and most of them are not absolutely necessarily have to be done that day. For example, um, update my credit card file. And this means whenever I use my credit card, I like to keep a spreadsheet of where I'm spending and so on. Um, I don't actually have to update that every day, but it's a daily recurring task just to remind me. So if there's a day when I'm very busy, I might skip doing it for a day. It's not an absolutely urgent task. So I've always avoided using the calendar view in Todoist. However, this new feature has changed everything. Now, to access this, what you do is you can go to, for example, my work project here. Now, I can choose individual projects if I wish, <clears throat> but this works just as well if you use the, uh, the main project folder in, in this case in Todoist. So I've got work here and you'll see project, project calendar feed. If you click on that, <clears throat> you will get a unique feed to that one project. So this isn't going to show every single project you have down here. So what I've done, and I will show you in my calendar version, I should have opened this before, but I didn't. So what I've done is I've actually put this into my <clears throat> calendar so what you'll see is here um, actually no let me show you from the Apple calendar because that's actually a little bit clearer to see so let's show you from the Apple calendar uh, this may need to update um, so what I've done is <coughs> if you look here I've added um, my tickler file project my work project my home project and my student affairs project so I've been very selective about what I actually add and I'm not sure if they're because I'm I'm dealing with these tasks. But if we go into next week, you'll see that on here I now have uh, asked Gunjung about uh, a question that I need her to answer. Um, I actually have birthdays. I don't want birthdays in here. Let's get that. Um, anyway, let's we'll worry about that later. Um, I've got my tickler here, which is download a file. Uh, Christmas dinner is, a, is an all-day affair and find good articles. So what's happened now is instead of having all my tasks show up in this top line, uh, instead I only see the, the actual ones that are really important and must be completed on that particular day. So this for me is a real game changer. Now I can start using my calendar with Todoist. Before that, I couldn't do that. Now, one of the interesting things is I came from OmniFocus many years ago now, maybe two years ago, and even OmniFocus doesn't allow you to select which calendar um, 
it doesn't allow you to select projects for calendar view. This, to me, as far as I can tell, is a unique feature to do this. And for me, it is a real game changer. So just to summarize what you can do is here, for example, is my tickler file. If you click on the three dots next to the project, click on that and you'll see down here project calendar feed. Clicking on that will give you a way that you can subscribe your calendar to um, your subscribe your to do is project directly into your calendar. It is a fantastic feature and I strongly recommend that for those of you who would like to follow the GTD which methodology which says that uh, only absolutely must be done projects uh, tasks should be put into your calendar well now you have an option of doing that so there you go this is uh what do we call it what's what's to do is to calling it um who did, 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 did click on that project calendar feed a fantastic new feature in todoist and something i have been using since it came out last thursday and i honestly recommend everybody to have a look at that and see if you can actually make some use of it so there you go that's that's it for today's episode, episode 87. I wish you all a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.